PebblePad allows users to make and share their own custom templates and workbooks. From the burger menu, choose Get Creative and select either Create a Workbook or Template. Once opened, you can build a page with content blocks. There are different types of blocks available to be added in the order of your preference. Simply select a category and you can click and drag the block onto a page. Many of the blocks produce reports that can be run in Atlas. Although there are some, like tables, that can't yet, but will work into changes. Let's show you each of the reportable blocks in use before moving on to Atlas. Here we have a custom workbook showcasing some of the building blocks available. First is a single line entry text field, perfect for capturing simple information such as names, locations, or job titles. Next is a multi-line entry field. Great for recording longer pieces of information, such as reports or descriptions. A radio button allows users to choose one answer from a list of options, while a checklist allows a user to choose multiple answers. Similarly, a drop-down list allows one answer from a list presented in a more compact way. And finally, a date field choosing either a single date, a start and end date, or a date to be ongoing. On the ratings page, we start with a binary radio button, choose A or B. A Likert scale lets users rate themselves between two statements without a numbered scale, or if preferable, a numbered scale is possible. Next, we have rubrics. Add the desired number of rows, for example, learning objectives, and the number of columns, say ratings. Give each a score and a unique description. The result lets users choose from a list to give an overall result. And finally, we have capabilities. A simple evidence block asks users to upload evidence to demonstrate or justify themselves or their work. This can be in the form of PebblePad assets, PDFs, video clips, or more. In doing so, they can indicate to say if the attached evidence is all the expected amount. PebblePad uses a traffic light color code to signify. A numeric capability works like the previous rating scale, yet this time asks for evidence to be attached. What's more, if at a later date the user wants to change their score, because of progression for example, this can be done with both justifications logged. The same is true for binary with evidence, for an AB choice, or a capability button with evidence. All of these building blocks can be reported upon in Atlas. Let's show you how. From an assignment inbox list, it is possible to select one, a group, or all entries. Then you can run a report on the workbook's content. A report replicates the makeup of a submission, so if there are multiple pages, these can be selected and viewed from the drop-down menu. Also, each report contains two tabs, an overview and an evidence tab. This is for fields that require the user to attach evidence, so we'll come back to this in a moment. Meanwhile, back to the overview, scrolling down the page, we can see the entry fields from the workbook replicated in the report. What did the users put in the single line entry field? Select the show responses button to see who, when, and what each person wrote. The same is true for multi-line entries. Radio buttons break down results into a pie chart. To see who gave each response, select a segment and the details appear beneath. Checkboxes display in a bar graph to easily show the most popular responses. And finally, for date fields, you can see two dates. The first shows when the person completed the field. The second shows the response they gave. Changing pages to ratings, we can see each of the fields shows the results in a graph. Again, select a section to reveal the full details beneath. Onto rubrics. 
The answers are broken down into two levels. The first gives the total score results and breakdown of users. And beneath, there are also more details of how each row was answered. And finally, onto the capability page. As before, we're presented with the now familiar pie chart with the option to reveal responses to each. But as this was also the section that used evidence gathering by attaching assets, we can now also see more details in the evidence report tab. Each panel represents a content block and the columns to the right, the status of it. Where a learner has added evidence, this is indicated by a number in brackets. Where a learner has self-marked their readiness, this is indicated by the colored column, green for complete, amber for ongoing. The final column to the far right shows if feedback has been given by an assessor, and if so, what color they gave. As with all the reports in Atlas, it's possible to download a copy of a CSV file to allow for manipulation in Excel or numbers, or importing into other systems.